Hello again, people. It's Wayne Freeman with Microchip Technology, still here in the connected home at Microchip Technology's booth, number S110 at CES 2020. We are keeping it rolling. Now, we've gone through the technologies that have been able to the, the connected home. We started with basically the overview. We went into power over Ethernet technology as the backbone. Now we're going to talk about wireless, wireless technologies that enable the connected home. And once again, I'm just the pretty face here to introduce everybody. Uh, not that, not that uh, Barack here is not a pretty face, but I want to introduce to you Barack Schlosser. He is a preeminent expert in wireless technologies here for Microchip. Hi, Wayne. Thank you very much. Cool, cool. So it's great to see you. How's your show going? Very good, very good. It's an awesome. amazing show. Awesome, yeah, it's, it's very fun. I'm, I'm having fun just hanging out and talking with you people. Um, so, you know, just to kind of level set here, what sort of, what sort of wireless technologies do we normally find in the connected home? Sure, so I will start with Wi-Fi, which is probably the most common technology for home automation course, devices yeah. and a smart home. As you can see, for example, we have a Wi-Fi gateway, which will collect all the sensor information coming from the PoE devices and can wirelessly connect to a home access point and send all the information directly to the cloud. Ah, Another example that I want to show you, if you can join me here, all right. is... We're challenging the camera guy right now. He's been carrying this thing for hours straight. It's not very light. It's smart speakers, which, as an example, Alexa, Alexa, what is the time? It's 3.36 p.m. As you can see. How many times have, 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 has anyone asked Alexa that right now? Yeah, I think she's freaking out. <laughs> she's kind of tired. <laughs> but smart speakers and other home automation devices uses Wi-Fi and the Wi-Fi mm -hmm. infrastructure within the home to communicate directly to the cloud. Of it course. enables you to stream music, stream videos, and send large amount of information. Of course, of course. Another technology that is very common in home automation allowing us to have mesh, which is the ability of devices to communicate with each other, mm. not necessarily through a gateway, is Zigbee. And one of the, some of the products that we can see here for Zigbee includes smart thermostat and a smart valve with a, s a water leak detector. And as an example, you can see the smart valve is right now open and waters are flowing. And if I take the leak detector and place it where it's wet, then you can see that water is detected by the valve and the valve is shut down. So now no more water can wet your house. That's good. That's really good. Very, very useful in places where it's super rainy and places where you have pipes that are like basically they, they can get very cold and then rupture and whatnot. Yeah. Um, it's very interesting as if, you know, you never really think about Zigbee as a home technology, but you know, with new applications coming out in the connected home, it's right, it's, it's basically, pardon the pun, right at home. So, you know, there's another thing that you're an absolute expert in that I wanted the audience to really get a chance to, to pick your brain about. You know, moving from the connected home, because the connected home really has a place inside the connected and intelligent city. And you happen to be a, pre a preeminent expert in the technology, a wireless technology that's also associated with a connected city. So can you kind of uh, give us a little bit of a teaser there? Sure. So for that, I would like to take you over to another demo that we've prepared with a fairly new technology, which is called LoRa, okay. which enables long range in a very low power manner, which enables applications for smart city. Okay. And let's move on. All right. And see what All right, Kurt, you're going to make it. I'll, I'll follow you and you can step over the cord here. As we go around, we're full service people. All right. Okay, so as you can see, we really love Lego in microchip and we've used Lego to build this amazing <laughs> demo, which highlights all kinds of applications for a smart city using LoRa technology. So as I mentioned, LoRa, long range, low power, right? Mm, yes. So for example, you can have your street lights connected through LoRa, so now from a if one location you can turn on the lights and make sure that the lights work or at least wherever the light bulb is not out as you can see here <laughs> okay another example is for 
parking applications, right? You're always looking for parking and you want to make sure that you get a notification when there is a, an empty parking space. So we have a car parked here and as you can see, the parking status is occupied. Now the car moves away and now in a few seconds you will see that the parking space is available. Wow. Another very uh, nice application for a smart city, think about it that whenever your trash can is full, the city will send a um, truck to take out you know, and clean the trash can. So as you can see, we have a trash can right here. A Lego trash can. Yeah, it's a Lego <laughs> trash can which is fully empty, right? But if I put my finger mimicking as if it is full, now you get an indication that the trash can is full and now the city can deploy trucks. Very cool. Now I see that uh, basically you have you know, surrounding the smart city Lego uh, the or organization here, you have the you know, a, a, a bunch of part numbers, uh, demo boards with part numbers here, which kind of leads me to my next question. And, 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 uh, and, and I know that the camera guy probably isn't going to be able to get, uh, get in on them very, very closely, but we're going to post the uh, names of these boards and links to them on uh, YouTube and in Facebook comments when we get a chance to. But it leads me to my next question. Um, you know, we are a full line manufacturer of these these products and technologies. How do we enable rapid development for you know customers who are wanting to build their next smart home product or smart city product? Right, that's a great question, Wayne. So, uh, all the technologies that I've mentioned, Wi-Fi, Zigbee, Bluetooth, and LoRa, we all have both the hardware, silicon, and modules, as well as the full software stacks that customers can take. Take these evaluation boards and we have evaluation boards for every, each and every technology and each and every board. They can take that, use and leverage our IDE to do the software development mm. and get very quickly into production with our solutions. So uh, when, as you mentioned, we gave the customers the full portfolio of solutions, yes. silicon, software, software development, evaluation boards and everything they need in order to be successful. Yep. In addition, we have local sales team and local support team everywhere in the world ah, to make yes. our customers more successful exactly where they are. So if they are in Asia, in the US, in Europe, any place in the world, we have local microchip teams that will help our customers to be successful. You heard it first. We'll send Barack to your place of business if uh, you need him to help. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, actually, I'm not entirely kidding. But anyway, because <laughs> you've been there before. Yeah, We've all yeah. been there before. <laughs> so. You know, I, I think that about wraps it up for this particular live stream. Thank you, Barack. You've enlightened me. You've enlightened the entire crew here. I'm sure you've enlightened the audience. Uh, you, and we've had a great time with you. So we're going to keep it rolling in the next 45 minutes or so with security. You know, so, so we're going to basically close out with how do we secure the connected home, the connected city, the connected anything. So stay tuned for that. But if you have any questions that you would like to get answered, send an email to livestream at microchip.com and we'll get those answered for you as soon as possible. Thank you and we'll see you soon.